Well, it is Brooklyn Ward, yes, and I am back with another one. Never mind the hair, because once you get old, you just might get some yourself. I know, I look like somebody's grandfather probably, right? Yeah, 45, I make it look good, you know? But anyways, um, on a much serious note, I'm, I'm here to update you about my problem of being homeless. I am no longer homeless. I am in a place where basically it's a boarding house. Okay. So, um, and I pay $400 a month. So as you can see behind me, my, uh, closet slash storage and my little TV there, you know, it came with a TV. So that's great. I had to buy the antenna, but, um, we're not going to go there with that. And, uh, that's it. This much. This is all you see. And yeah, I'm getting ready for my Super Bowl party here. You know, party of one loser. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, all jokes aside, yeah, um, it's been a good run. I've been here about two weeks. Um, it's my first video of 2021. So um, just want to give an update on everything that's going on with me. So for those who've been watching my videos and who have been supporting me, just watching the videos, giving it a thumbs up, you know, a like, share, comment, all that, um, subscribing. So I guess nothing um, <clears throat> to all my subscribers. I really want to thank you if you've watched all of my videos and comment on all of my videos. That would be great. Let me know what's really going on because the that problem still exists which is the cost of living out here and unfortunately it's uh not gonna stop so with that said you know i just i'm thinking of solutions myself as well but just to give a recap i was in what they call tent city it's this big white tent and two three different sections and I was there for quite some time and I did a few videos of done with gambling but uh, when push came to shove I had to use my free play to uh, get a, a weekly bus pass or you know just to eat so um, I can say I'm pretty much I'm just done with it just completely um, I now have a lease so I pay $400 a month and that right now is a steal right now compared to what most rent, what people pay for rent out here. Um, so yes, I'm still doing a giveaway. I have 36 subscribers um, and I really would like to reach 1000. So um, as I stated before, not every video is going to be sad or whatever i'm working on you know a few skits and uh, pranks and things of that nature but i just want to give an update on me so i do have a job so of course because i can afford the place so obviously there anthony you know i mean if you're paying rent you better have a job um so with that said um i work at this place um instead and here in reno nevada I've been here for I've been there for about four months, so I should have been at this place a long time ago. And um, there's a very few people, there's few people out there who really care. Um, Ashley, who works at the uh, the VOA, you know, um, who really cares. Like they, she really wants to see people get out of the shelter system and the life and things of that nature. A moniker, you know. I, two thumbs up you know she she really cares and um she really told me you know at the end of the day anthony you know how you want to live your life that's up to you but at the end of the day you have to make sure that you are make the right decisions and if you're going to live your life this way then so be it who am i to judge you and when she said that, that struck a nerve with me so monica i want to thank you if you just happen to see this video two thumbs up you know ashley you're the greatest and i would like to thank Devin 
as well. I believe she runs this place. Uh, so, you know, thank you, Devin, you know, and to all that have helped me. The city of Reno for not only paying the deposit, but also paying the first month rent because I was short, not because of gambling. Gambling had nothing to do with it. It was the lack of hours. I was basically working two, three days out the week, so um, I barely was making anything. You know, I got to live. I got to travel. I got to eat. So, you know, bus pass, cell phone, food, um, leisure things, you know. Um, and with that said, so if you have any questions, any comments, any things of that nature, let me know uh, down below. Comment, you know. Uh, I encourage you to comment. I encourage you to share this video. I don't want to bore you and talk your ears off, so that's why I keep looking kind of close into the camera here, you know, to... Just give you enough. I apologize if it seems like I'm babbling, but like I said, I've been here about two weeks, and um, you know, it's just a matter of being consistent and doing the right thing, and paying my rent, and also paying my cell phone bill, which is only forty dollars. So, yeah, you know, uh, I buy a fifty dollar card, I get ten dollars. Um, credit so with that said as long as I keep my phone on you know you got to keep the phone on um, it doesn't ring to save my life but um, if possible in the near future I decide to change jobs you got to have a phone um, a wise man once told me the three most important things in life is food clothing and shelter and I have all three I have clothes i've got shelter and i have food um yes i still i still get food stamps but you know um that's neither here nor there i mean i gotta i gotta live i gotta eat you know you pay 400 rent and then you you know you pay your cell phone bill and then you know you save whatever you need to save to move on this here place is called the village of sage street it is a stepping stone for those who are wanting to move on with their life and getting to an apartment, you know, I'm tired of doing the hotel motel thing. I've done that for several years. I'm 45 years old and a counselor at the shelter, the main shelter of the building uh, by the name of Ted. He said, Anthony, you've been doing this for quite some time. And when he brought out my file, it was about that thick. That was just, you know, the first one, yeah, about that thick. Then he brought out the second one and said, this is just now. And it was about that thick. So all together, my file was about that thick, you know. And, um, you know, it really made me think because I was 34 years old when I started. Uh, not started, but I actually became homeless. And I'll tell you a quick story about that. So my mother, she gets this letter um, stating that those who have felonies can't live inside the housing project. And this is how I ended up here in Nevada. And she showed me the letter and she says that no one with felonies can live inside the housing project, housing authority in New York, in Brooklyn, New York, just New York period, whatever. And I was real devastated because this is my mother we're talking about. You know, born, raised, I've been there since I was 31. Yeah, uh, mama's boy, no. Um, I just, you know, in and out of jail twice. Uh, so long story short, I got locked up for robbery in the first degree. And I wound up getting a three to six, but they dropped it to two and a half to five, which is a called a predicate beat, you know. And it's funny how my second time being arrested, I got and actually got a one to three, but um, not to skip any parts. So um, robbery in the first degree, I do two and a half years. I get out on my first parole, very violent, very violent. This is one of those, what they would call a green jail. You know, they, you know, your first time, you know, they let you go and see if you fly right back. And I did, but a uh, different place. So... Um, 
But when I got out, and my mother's like, well, you can't stay here, and blah, blah, blah. She's giving me all this, you know, about the housing. So I says, okay, fine. I move on with my life, and I stay, I'm staying with an associate. And I went, I get caught up in a crime that had nothing to do with me, and I actually got the one, the one to three. But I wound up doing two years out of that because, uh, no, one and a half to three. So because I didn't complete the program, you know. And when I didn't complete the program, they slapped six months on me. So I wound up doing two years and having a year left on parole. And I would say that that was the beginning of me, you know, house to house, friend to friend or whatever, associate to associate. And I've been to about three places and um, I met a woman online and I wound up, you know, uh, staying with her. Then things didn't work out and I bounced around all over the United States, you know, Chicago, I mean, Allentown, PA, I mean, pretty much all over here in um, Nevada, uh, California, and then back and forth. So um, with that said, I've been doing a lot of thinking and I have a place to where I can sit, get my head together, you know, uh, besides having a job and being able to save money. I don't wish homelessness on anybody, anybody. And I'm not using this video to um, say, well, I'm better than you because I have a place. I'm just like you. I'm one paycheck away from being right back out there on those streets. And I recognize that. You know, so as long as I keep my job and I pay my bills, I pay my rent, I'll be okay. Um, don't have much of a love life, but we're not going to go there. Ladies, I'm single. No. <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside, um, with that said, uh, this is just, like I said, a mere update of what's going on um, with my life. So um, please, as it says, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know, tell a friend. I mean, this is real. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll let you see that there. You know, so I'm gonna. Uh, th this is what the, um, this is what the, uh, gear is gonna look like. You know, I'm just gonna give you, an uh, overview. You know, um, of how things are gonna look. I don't know exactly how it's going to look on a t-shirt, but I have someone that I need to stop playing with and go get that t-shirt made, hats and things of that nature. Um, I thought about taking my videos down, but I said, you know what, Anthony? I mean, you know, as long as I keep making new videos and they look at the old videos, I'll be good. So um, with that said, um, please like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, um, and watch the videos. Um, because they are real. You know, I still do have those Nikes. In that one video that I made about the 1,000 subscriber, I'm really just trying to reach 1,000 subscribers and get monetized. And 4,000 hours of watching my videos. I know, I mean, it's kind of painful. It's like, oh, another video of a guy being homeless. Oh, no, it's not just another video. It's someone else's life experience whether it be the same situation or different situations you know um but anyways um i apologize for if i'm really burning your ear with this but um you know please like comment subscribe tell a friend and thank you and god bless